Alrighty, YouTube, Niner Empire, what is going down here? Welcome back to another video. So, reports have came out a couple days ago that Clint Kubiak, 49ers passing game coordinator, is expected to be hired as the new Saints offensive coordinator. Um, like some of the other 49ers assistant coaches out there, um, Clint Kubiak has, has been highly sought out after over the past couple years for offensive coordinator roles. Um, and it looks like he met with the Saints and they will hire him once the Super Bowl is over. So the 49ers will use will lose yet again another assistant coach following the Super Bowl. Um, now, the thing is, um, with Clint Kubiak, like, it kind of reminds me of the of like D'Amico Ryan's last year, and you know Robert Sala the year before, or two seasons before that. Um, like I going into this year, if there was one coach I could have expected to see gone following this year, one of those guys would have probably been Clint Kubiak. Um, obviously, with Kubiak, he's been the passing game coordinator just for this year. He's never been with the Niners. Um, elsewhere, but before he was with the Niners, he was Denver's passing game coordinator and quarterbacks coach, and then in 2021, he was Minnesota's offensive coordinator only for one year, so it looks like he's trying to get another stint as an offensive coordinator, um, which here's the thing, he's he's the son of legendary coach Gary Kubiak, um, Gary Kubiak's kind of brought him up, and kind of taken him under his wing, of course, in this coaching coaching stuff. Um, and again, Clint Kubiak's a brilliant mind, um, one of the more brilliant offensive-minded assistant coaches out there. Um, so it's no surprise that, for one, he was being sought out after, and nor is it any surprise that he's, being, he's, a, he's going to be hired by the Saints to be their offensive coordinator. So, um, I mean, the... I think when it comes down to it, like the Niners will fill this role no problem. Um, Bobby Slowick was our passing game coordinator last year before he took the job um, with the Texans as their offensive coordinator. And then obviously looking and seeing what Bobby Slowick has done this year with the Houston Texans and Stroud, um, like that, that's all, that's just honestly a testament to Bobby Slowick and how brilliant. He is as well, and there's no doubt in my mind that the Saints will have a lot of success with uh, Clint Kubiak as their offensive coordinator. And I would imagine within the next couple years or so, a lot of teams will be looking at Clint Kubiak for you know a head coaching role at some point. It kind of seems like that's kind of where his end game goal is, is is to be an offensive or to be a head coach at some point, sometime. Um, so again, no surprise. Kind of was expecting this. Um, He's 36 years old, still a young, young guy in the league. And again, I would fully expect Clint Kubiak at some point in time within the next couple of years uh, to officially be hired on as a head coach at, at somewhere, maybe even New Orleans. I mean, I know they're sticking with Dennis Allen, but Den Dennis Allen's a guy that, you know, if, if the Saints don't make noise this upcoming season, like he's without a doubt probably going to be fired. Um and who knows, maybe Clint Kubiak goes to New Orleans, has success with that offense, but, you know, they're still not, you know, a playoff team, whatever the case may be. Maybe Clint Kubiak's a guy that they look at and try to hire, you know, if 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 Dennis Allen is, is, is there. Because, obviously, Dennis Allen's the guy that's bringing Clint Kubiak over there to be his offensive coordinator. So, in a way, if Dennis Allen gets fired after next year, um and they decide to go elsewhere and hiring a head coach, whichever head coach they bring in next year, if Dennis Allen's fired, he's probably going to want to bring in his own offensive coordinators um, or his his own assistant coaches. But who knows? Maybe, again, maybe Clint Kubiak has a lot of success. He does good in an interview if if, um, if Dennis Allen's fired, and, and maybe he takes over for the New, for the New Orleans Saints. But as far as the Saints go, like this is a great hire for the Saints. Um Obviously, he's got to wait until after the Super Bowl to, you know, put pen to paper and, and start working for the Saints. But he's the candidate that the Saints have, have zeroed in on. Um, and at this point, it's just a formality. 
Um, so great offensive mind. Obviously, the Saints are hoping he can import some of the principles that Kyle Shanahan has has you know put to good use being in San Francisco. Um, I think a majority of it is probably going to be an increased reliance on like the play action stuff and and greater emphasis on motion and obviously the hope is that Gary or Clint Kubiak can modernize you know a Saints offense that fell off without Drew Brees conducting and and Sean Payton drawing up the plays so um, again I mean I, I think it's a great hire for them I was expecting Clint Kubiak to at some point depart to another team to be their offensive coordinator again he's only had one stint as an offensive coordinator and that came in 2021 with the Vikings so um, again man like great hire great coach one of the more brilliant offensive minded head coaches out there as a Saints fan I, I would love this hire um, but again at some point in time mark my words he'll be a head coach um, but yeah as always go Niners of course let me know what you guys think of uh, Clint Kubiak leaving after the Super Bowl to take the Saints offensive coordinator job um, obviously let me know how you guys think Kubiak could elevate you know the Saints offense and things of that nature and any Saints fans watching this again you guys are going to love this guy brilliant mind he's going he, to I, I can only I can just see it now he's only going to do good things in New Orleans so we'll see what happens though but Clint Kubiak again will be hired as the Saints offensive coordinator following Super Bowl 58 uh, a week from today. So as always, go Niners. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.